So you wanna learn how to use materials inside of Unreal Engine 5, and let's do that as quickly as we can to get you ramped up. From in here, we can come down to the bottom left to the content drawer, left click open, and now we can either put our material we're about to create in a folder, or we can just add it here. So if we right click, come up to material, select that, and then name it. I like to name mine M underscore, let's call this testing material 01. The M underscore will help us search for our material later if we ever need to find it. We can left click to open, and what you'll see is this is the material editor window. So in Unreal, this is kind of broken down into a few sections. One, we have our preview. One, we have properties or options about our texture. Here we have what are the outputs. This is the way we actually view our material. And later we're gonna be adding inputs to drive the outputs. At the bottom, we have a little bit of information about the efficiency of our texture. And at the top, we have some tools for cleaning up, for hiding. These are kind of advanced features just to help us kind of keep things simple. So for now, I'm gonna show you guys a few different things. We might be saying, well, we have outputs and we need inputs. Well, where do we get the inputs? If you right click, you'll get a drop down with a bunch of different options here. And these are pertaining to different kinds of ideas, skies, textures, vectors, utilities. And these are things you'll learn over time. But for right now, we're gonna use what is called a vector three. And you can see up here, we have a constant three vector node. And if I left click on this, it will now add an input to my scene. And if we look at these outputs, we don't need to necessarily know what all of them do right now but you'll see there is one called base color. And we can think of this as like the actual color of your object without a lot of the other material properties like roughness and metallic, which we'll get into later. If we take these pins, these little black dots, arrows, and we left click and drag out, we'll get a little line. And this line can be dragged over and connected into any one of these output pins. And you can see if I hover over, I get a little check mark, and if I let go, they're now connected. Now, nothing over here looked like it changed too much, but if now we come over to our node for our vector three and I left click on it, one thing you'll notice is that this properties area down here has changed. So if I click off the node just in the empty space, it goes back to the information about the material at a high level. And if I left click on the node, I get information specific to the one I clicked on. And right now we can see it says constant and it's black. If I left click this, I can now go and select a color, ramp this up, and put a red color in here. As soon as I hit OK, a couple things are gonna happen. I'm gonna do that. You're gonna notice our preview has now turned red, and also on this node itself, it has also turned red. And this is kind of the most basic setup for making materials. We now have applied a color, a VEC3, which is three components, and we've applied it to our object. So the last thing I wanna do is kind of confirm this material. So I'm gonna come up to apply, or save. The real difference is apply lets us kind of test out without committing and save, make sure that this asset really is saved if we were to close the project. So for now, we're just gonna click apply and you'll see it still has an asterisk because it's not saved, but that's okay. I can take my window and I can scroll it over and in a blank test scene here, we could just add an object to try this out. So I'm gonna click on the little quick add to project, come down to shapes and cube. You can use any one you want, feel free to have fun with that. And on this cube here, we'll now see it's sitting in the environment. The next thing we need to notice is that this cube by default is a static mesh and all static meshes come with a material slot. So if you notice over here in my details panel, there is a channel called materials. And I have a couple different options. Right now it's using a material called basic shape material. I can left click. And again, we named ours M underscore testing. And there it is, testing material 01. If I now left click to apply, our cube has now applied the material we created. And this is probably the most basic way we can think about materials. We have an object, we have the material, we have it in our browser, and that should give you the very, very, very basics on adding materials and getting used to them inside of Unreal Engine 5.